recently union health ministry has issued a national action plan to states and union territories on heat related illness the ministry asked them to take effective steps to address the impact of heat in the summer season we all well aware that heat waves are recorded in several parts of india this topic comes under general studies paper 3 of upsc civil service examination mains hence in this video we will try to understand what are the reasons for the heat waves before that we will see what do you mean by heat waves and what are the measures required for heat waves we all well aware that climate change is inevitable according to a former un secretary general ban ki moon action on climate change is urge the more we delay the more we will pay in a lives and in money so heat waves are nothing but one of the negative effect of rise in temperatures or climate change let us first try to understand what do you mean by heat waves as i told you union ministry issued national action plan so this you can understand this action action plan was given under national program on climate change and human health in all states and union territories to take necessary steps against the rise in temperatures according to indian meteorological department imd heat waves are comes under in special circumstances for example a situation is considered as a heat wave when the maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 40% for plains 30% are hill areas so if you see that normal maximum temperatures of a station is less than or equal to 40 degrees then an increase in 5 degrees to 6 degrees from the normal temperature is again considered as a heat wave condition further the increase in temperature if it is 7 degrees from the normal temperature it is also a heat wave condition so on an average i can tell you that if the temperature of a local meteorological station is more than 40 degrees then if there is a rise in 4 degrees to 5 degrees then the normal temperature it is a heat wave condition irrespective of the location if the temperature maximum temperature reaches more than 45 degrees then we can call that particular situation situation as a heat wave so imd is very clear that if the temperature of a station or a location going beyond going beyond the 40 degrees or 5 to 6 degrees more than the 40 degrees we can consider it is a heat wave condition again i am stressing here irrespective of the location if the maximum temperature is more than 45 degrees we can call it is a heat wave condition now why heat wave condition is repeatedly occurring in india if you recall an incident happened in 2016 that in rajasthan the temperature suddenly rise and reached to 51 degrees celsius it was happened in Palauji of Rajasthan is a place in which temperature reaches 51 degrees. Now, why such things are happening? Even last year in Andhra Pradesh, we recorded 48 degrees to 50 degrees in some places. Why such things are happening? If you see the data of UNEP, every year, even trying to beat the maximum temperatures of the previous years, in the recent COP meetings. in sharma al sheikh in egypt also ministers stressed this particular issue that heat waves are repeatedly affecting the different parts of the countries and even continents now why such things are happening intergovernmental panel on climate change ipcc observed that rise in temperatures rise in temperatures is due to continuous global em global emissions these global emissions leading to create global warming and this global warming affecting the environment and even allowing people to allowing people to suffer with the rise in temperatures 
UNEP in its rip one of its reports mentioned that urbanization concretization industrialization these three are playing an important role in rising and reputation of heat waves next center for science and environment an indian think tank in its observation stated that destruction of destruction of natural natural carbon sink or destruction of forest such things is also one of the reason for the rise in heat waves so what we can conclude that the anthropogenic factors are playing an important role in repeated heat waves well after understanding the reasons for the heat waves let us try to understand the effects of heat waves on us so there are numerous effects however we will try to understand some of the heat waves effects some of the effects of the heat waves on us number 1 health issues it is recorded by who that is prolonged exposure to heat waves may create heat related illness such as heat exhaustion heat exhaustion and it even leads to heat strokes and apart from that if you are more vulnerable to the heat waves it will affect your growth and even development of the organs it is noted by lancet that the people particularly children and women who are affected by heat waves are stunted in their growth further coming to environmental issues UNEP in its observations clearly stated that environment is severely affected particularly it is leading to forest fires in addition to that water depletion water depletion is rising because of these repeated heat waves next agricultural scientists are raising concerns about the impacts of heat waves last year if you recall india suddenly banned exports of wheat considering the fall in the production this year also government of india is thinking to ban the wheat exports so punjab and western up the places which are benefited by green revolution in fact are recorded that heat waves affecting the growth of the wheat further it is also noted by ipcc if the temperature is beyond 47 degrees mammals will suffer in their survival as well as their production now in addition to that heat waves even rise pollution so this is an interesting interesting find out from the researchers that as long as heat waves are rising people tries to use more air conditions or some cooling equipments when they are using more and more cooling equipments they will try to consume more power if they are consuming more power we are creating burden over the coal or thermal power plants so that's the reason it is going to create the pollution and other things pollution particularly further according to international labor organization 2019 estimates india will lose around 5.8% of total total labor hours by 2030 because of heat waves so you can understand that heat waves is affecting every sector or every segment of our life and the worst affected according to ilo is the workforce india is going to uh, suffer job loss and even economic loss because of these issues so what we can do in this circumstances to prevent the future damages the solutions are world bank suggested to counter climate change issues we need information education communication strategies social vaccine is important in changing the behavior attitude of the people and we should also involve some nudge theories to change the people's approach towards the heat waves further we also need 
to focus on renewable energies. Here, solar energy is the lifeline for all the people. I want to quote here, International Solar Alliance is leveraging the research and development on solar issues so, so that it can benefit the India as well as the world. We should also add that UAE under I2U2 is also decided to develop hybrid solar battery storage system in India, Gandhinagar. So, India should leverage this international partnerships. India should go on climate diplomacy. Climate diplomacy on this renewable energy and technology transfer issues. Further, we should also remember that government should give incentives for this research and development of this section. Then, Center for Science and Environment suggested nature-based solutions. One is afforestation. Here, Government of India has already launched a program called as Green India Mission under its National Action Plan Against Climate Change. So, one, apart from Government of India, we should also include states in providing more futuristic or result-oriented goals in this time. Then, we should also have cooling elements, that is, local governments should create cooling elements like providing some kind of shelters, providing ORS, so on, so on, so forth. So further, I would like to tell you, we should also focus on construction materials, construction materials, where they should also use cooling elements. Then the timings of the people, timings of the school, timings of the colleges and offices should be in concurrence with the change in temperatures. If you take examples from Gulf countries, they will follow the same thing in fact. So, by this I can tell you that you can we can cope up with the climate change. I would like to tell you that emergency measures like the Minister of uh, Health and Family Welfare suggested water, ORS, seasonal fruits should be with the people. Further, in India should also think about resilient agriculture. The resilience agriculture is now at the time of the at the time of uh, need. For, for example, Punjab Agriculture University developed this PBW803 in Ludhiana, where it can sustain the heat waves and it can give good results. Further, Pusa Ahilia H11634 is also developed to cope up with the heat waves. So we need such type of research and development. We also need to change the people's attitude towards the heat waves. We should cope up with that. We should manage with that. Finally, I would like to tell you, this is the high time India should prepare action plans based on the local needs. Take example from Ahmedabad, which prepared one of the earliest action plan to cope up with the heat waves. So this is a time where other local governments should be equipped with proper funds and staff and even training skills to cope up with these heat waves. Thank you so much and Jai Hind.